Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy YouTube Blue coming back at you again on this Monday. Should we say it's Victory Monday, even though there's no games being played? Um, we did have the draft, though. Um, what did you guys grade the draft? I know some a lot of you guys graded it a um, B minus, B plus area. I, th I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Um, like I said, the only questionable, the only questionable draft pick that I had was the uh, the Nashawn um, Wright pick because I think that he had a seventh round grade and they got him in the third. So I don't know how he's going to pan out. So we'll see. But the Cowboys did um, sign all thirteen of their undrafted free agents. One of them was a safety. They had a couple of wide receivers, a couple of running backs, but but yeah. Um, a lot of those guys are just going to be here for a training camp because we have st we're stacked in a lot of those positions. So um, if any of them of them make it and be maybe like two or three that might get picked for the uh, practice squad, but we'll see how that goes. I know some of you guys that are like real big college heads. There's some of these guys that you really like on there, and some of them didn't even have grades at all. Like what I mean, like they weren't on boards. A lot of people didn't like they they didn't do well in pro days or anything like that. So again, it, everybody gets the opportunity, right? You know, you try to, but um, but this is their shot, and it's hard to get into the NFL. It really is. It really is. It's it's, it's not a game. But as you guys heard today, Leighton Vander Esch is as expected. His fifth year option was declined by the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking that, okay, well, they declined it because we picked up Micah Parsons in the draft or we picked up uh, Jabril Cox in the, in the draft. No, those are not the reasons. I don't think those are necessarily the reasons. I think that they were going to decline the fifth year option regardless. Now, I think the reason why they declined it for the most part being that, you know, they would have to pay him nine million dollars, over nine million dollars, for that just that one year in twenty twenty for the fifth year option. Now, they don't think right now that that he's worth that because of the injuries and you know him missing six games last year. So, you don't think that you know he was worthy of getting that type of money because you don't know how healthy he's going to be. Now. That's to say that and just because they declined the option also does not mean that he um, is not going to be on the team next year. Because if Leighton Vanders goes out here and has a good year and that's Jalen as well, I'll talk about him in a second. But if Jalen goes out and has a really good year this year um, with with the young linebackers and they all play well, then I think that the Cowboys might re up his contract and just give him another another whole contract you know what i mean i think that they would do that if he has a good year but that's that's all contingent on how he does in the season now if he gets injured again and doesn't play bye bye Leighton van der esch where we won't probably won't see him after that but if he does do well there's a good chance the cowboys could resign him again to another contract but they're not going to give him nine million for 2022 at this point that the fifth year option relies on like as of right now um, for this season, because he's still under contract for this year, so he would be getting 2.1 million this year, um, guaranteed. So that's his guaranteed money. J the rest of Jalen Smith's contract is 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 guaranteed as well. So for both of these guys, they're 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 on watch right now, and they're creating competition at these positions because they don't want these veterans to get lax. They don't want these guys to just you know, not have any work ethic or anything like that. So they provide they they provide a push for these guys. These young guys are gonna come in here and push these veterans at their positions. So you you telling me you got a young healthy Michael Parsons, a young healthy Jabril Cox, and then you have Leighton Vander Esch and, and Jalen Smith. We know we they have both their um issues with injuries. So if they if there's any incentive for them to want to stay healthy and if they can avoid injury, then um, the Cowboys will do what they do. I know we know that the Cowboys like Jalen. We know that they like Leighton Vanderish. Has nothing to do with whether they like them or not. This is all solely based on need and what makes sense to the organization because.
they're going to protect the star before anything. You know what I mean? And, and I, and in that, in that, in that situation, I agree because at the same time, you don't want Layton to come out here and be like, be another Sean Lee and like, Oh God, he's out for the year. And you're like, again, we know injuries are inevitable, but sometimes they happen too much to certain players. Like, how Sean Lee is. I don't think that Sean Lee will ever go to the Hall of Fame all just because he's injured prone. But outside of that, I, I really like um I, I like Leighton Vander Esch. I like I like Jalen Smith. But if when they're healthy, they can play well. They can tackle well. They're aggressive players. They play pretty much like Micah Parsons. So you literally got younger, better versions of um Jalen Smith and and, and Leighton Vander Esch. That's what they got in the draft. So um, they want this team, they want this defense to be about speed. You know what I mean? And I think that this defense is going to be better because of that. We don't need our defense to be top 10. We don't. With as good as our offense is, middle of the road. We we were at, what, 30th, 30, 30, 31st in the league overall? If they could get them down to 20 or maybe 18, That's a good defense. That's 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 a solid defense. That that defense will get you somewhere. Um, based upon how your offense is playing, that is. Now, if you got an offense that's garbage, a top twenty, a twentieth D defense is not going to help you much. But because our offense is so good, that all you need is a defense just to get to twenty. That's it. That's all you're asking. But but let me know what you guys think about the Leighton Vander Esch thing. I know, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure that if he plays better this year that they'll offer him another small contract or something like that and see how he does and this and that nature because it doesn't always mean that he's going to go bye-bye because like I said I like Layton and, and Jalen I don't want to I know a lot of fans are sick and tired of them and, and they I, I hear I hear it all the time how much they talk bad about both Layton and, and Jalen but I like those guys I think that they 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 have a purpose you know what I mean it's just that it's an injury thing and I know with Jalen with that drop foot he can't help it. That's just what it is. But you don't put him in coverage. You utilize him a different way. You put the other, the younger guys and put them in coverage. How about that? Now, the question is what they're going to do with Justin March because he they didn't resign him yet. So are they going to resign him back or they're going to let Justin March walk? I don't know. We'll see. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. It's your boy E2Blue. Oh, oh, always like, share, comment. Subscribe to the channel, man. It's your boy, YouTube Blue. Always keeping it real. Peace out, y'all.